All right, everybody, Create Studio 4 launched today. And I actually, this is my third try because I did make two quick tutorials, but realized as I was doing it that I should have told you a few other things and I was still trying to figure it out. I should have played with it a little bit before I started a tutorial. So what I'm gonna show you is just how to quickly make an AI video, which is a super requested feature. So that is the amazing part of Create Studio 4. So very quickly, if you have Create Studio 3, you get the download for Create Studio 4 without an extra cost. Just like every time they update the apps, you get it for free. These features for the AI video building, you will need to use as a credit system. Now, if you are a lifetime all access pass owner, then they have given you 10,000 credits um, to use. If you are not an all access pass user, you can still make these videos. You can buy some credits and here is the cost that you would be paying. Um, once as an all access pass member, you can also get more credits and that's the quick down and dirty about that. So let's very quickly go in here and look at what it looks like to make a video. Let's just do an AI shorts builder. You're just going to click on it and then choose what resolution you want. You can choose the theme. I'm going to kind of go with what I already had because that will keep it quick. What I already had done, so I'll just keep spending credits on the same old theme, but using um, using AI, I don't remember what I wrote, AI video creator create studio three. I think I wrote something like, why should I buy? Why should I buy AI, video, AI video creative? We'll see how that goes. So then you can choose a voice. We have males and females. You can hear the preview. The biggest room in the world is room for. Um, I'm just gonna select Bria because I know that voice. I'm just gonna select that, click next. Then you can choose if you want to have some music. I'm gonna go with no music, next. Then you can ch choose a style. I had done a t Disney Pixar. So let's look and see what a photo presentation will look like. Click next. Then you can choose your caption style. I'm going to leave it on clean and simple. You're going to be able to edit all of that when you're in the video um, tool itself after it's created. You can have no avatar or you can choose an avatar. I'm going to choose her. We can um, edit that when we're in there. I'm going to click next and now it is creating the script. And once the script comes up, you can edit it here. However, after I did that the first time, um, I'm actually going to wait until here. If you do, did I type create studio four, uh, three in the, in the title? That was bad of me. Let me fix that. Um, I wasn't paying attention. We are on create studio four. So I'm going to change that here and then I can change. The reason I might change it here is because then when the audio is created, it will say the right thing. If you wait, you are able to edit these captions once you are in the video, in, in Create Studio to edit the video, but you won't be able to edit the voice. So you would have to create it again to have the voice. So let's look, create it. No, oh, it does create X. Oh, look at that. Um, and then I might just write, have fun creating. Now I'm going to generate the project. It tells you how many credits will be used right here. 
it's going to use 60 and it has been fairly quick. You're going to see the progress, be the progress bar. Um, and once that's done, it's going to open up. I will leave a link to the download again. If you already own Create Studio 3, you do not have to purchase this. It is a download for everybody who already has the app. Um, I will put the link in the video description. If you don't have it, Create Studio at all, I will also have a link that you can check it out and purchase it. So that was pretty quick, right? So here we have our little emoji. Now here's what, if I decide I don't want her, I can click on this and I can hide her. So then she's not there if I don't want her. I don't tend to delete things because deleting them, then I won't be able to put it back. I just usually hide it. So if you decide after you put that in, you don't want it, just hide it or you can delete it. So um, you can either choose no avatar or do the hiding or deleting. So here we have the avatar. Here are our videos. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to look at it. Create Studio 4 is an innovative AI video creator that simplifies video production. It offers a user-friendly interface that makes video creation accessible to everyone. Now, I'm going to stop this right here. I can play the whole thing at the end when you don't necessarily, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. But right here, you can see Create Studio 4. They messed up there, or I messed it up because I didn't see it in there. So... This is just as I have a tutorial on editing captions, but if I click on the audio right down here, I can edit the caption. I can change the type if I want. I can change the style and the color. All of this is in a tutorial that I already have. I'm not gonna go through it all. I can change where I put the caption um, captions, but let's go right in here and I can just very quickly change that create studio four um, because i missed that and then before is an innovative ai video creator that simplifies video production now here it looks like we don't have any punctuation i'm going to put the punctuation production it offers a user-friendly interface that makes video creation accessible to so you can go in and change any of these captions. Now, remember, if you're editing it in here, it's not going to change the audio. So the audio will still be whatever you generated. So you do want to make sure that the text itself is what you want or the script is what you want it to say when it creates the audio for your text. Right here, I was just looking at you can see the teacher in me. I need to have punctuation on my captions. So that's how you can change all of the captions however you want it. Now you can also, um, I'm probably driving you crazy talking and doing this at the same time and I forgot which one I did. Um, you can also, if you want, change these transitions, right? So right here, they have it scrolling up. We can me see where this green bar is if you click on there you have it they have it done with the skew up and you can go in and change it to any of the caps uh, I'm sorry any of the transitions that you want and of course I have some tutorials on the transitions as well so let me just even just put in here fade for a minute let's just change it to a fade that will just change it it offers a user-friendly interface that makes video creation accessible to everyone. Now, if that's too much, you can also change it or you can click and make it a longer transition so it's not going as quick. ...to everyone. With a vast... Now, I'm just going to do Command Z and undo that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, but you can change the timings. You can change the type of transition. You can do anything that you want in there. The other thing that you can do is you can change the images. I'm going to click on the image. And if you go up here, you can replace with a video, you can replace with an image. Um, I'm not going to change it. You certainly can also do a lot of this editing here. However, let me click off this. 
if you can see this little dotted line right here, they've already animated this with scale and rotation with linear. So I'm not going to play around too much with the sizing and the placement of the of the image because that's going to mess up what the AI did. As I get more familiar, maybe I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to do that right now. But just know that you can do that. You can change all of those transitions if you want. They all have them. You can see the dotted line. Um, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to show you how you could change your images. Now you could, I'm going to go in here into media. Here's everything that's in the video. I can go in now Vecteezy. I don't think it's changed. That was for only all access, um, but we do have Pexels and Pixabay, and you can choose a video or an image. I'm going to go with an image. Um, say I just, I mean, this would be stupid, but I'm just going to put that in because it's quick and you don't have to watch me hunting for a, an image. Um, so I can go into my folder and here it is. Then what I can do is I can click on that image. I can replace it with an image. I can upload my own images as well, but here I downloaded one from, I don't remember, was it Pixabay? I can click on it and it replaces it right away. Um, Create Studio 4 is an innovative AI. Clearly that's not the image that we'd want, so I'm going to Command Z because we don't need that. Um, but you can upload your own video, uh, your own video or your own image if you want to have your team in there or you want to have your image in there or whatever you want. And once it's up here in your folder, you can just choose what you want. So, <coughs> excuse me. So there you go. I'm not going to take a whole lot more time. Again, I can um, hide her if I don't want her in there. I just can't talk if I play this because then the sound, it gets all scratchy. You can create stunning videos in minutes. The AI features help automate tasks, saving you time and effort. Create Studio 4 supports. So there I need to change that because I want that to be the numeral. So I can just go right in here and change that to four. So I can go in and just fix all of those. I didn't see them all, but as I'm looking at it, and again, you can't change what it's saying. You would have to do that beforehand, but there you go. And then here it has this call to action at the end. Um, here I might say, thanks for watching. Click on CS4 download link. Whoop. In video description. Now you also can go in here and change all of the colors. So if I want this to be a different color, they have a gradient here. I can change it to some pinks. I can change it to some... Um, yellows, I can do whatever I want. Obviously, that's really ugly what I just did. Um, but you can change all of the color. You can change your font to whatever you want it to be that you have in here. I've already uploaded a lot of the um, fonts that I had added to Create Studio. You can do all of that really simply with the migration tool. Um, I'm just trying to get off that. Um, I have a video on that. I can click, I can put some of those in that might help you as you are transitioning to Create Studio 4. So this was super quick. Well, maybe not too quick, 15 minutes almost. Um, but you can change everything within here and make Create some Studio. very quick videos using AI. So let me know what you might want to know about in the comments below. I'm still just learning the new stuff that we have available. Everything else is still there like it was before. And I have to do some looking around, but everything is still there. We have all of our templates. We have our characters. We have our 3D creator. We have all of these in here like we had in Create Studio 3. All right. 
happy creating and you can find the links for the download and if you don't have it the purchase in the video description below happy creating